Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today I have got the series that I promised you in my last video. This is the Flamme Rouge Racing France Tour. I'm really excited about this one. There's a couple of different jerseys up for grabs. So there's the general classification, there's the points jersey and the KOM jersey. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. I haven't completed one of these for absolutely ages. I think it's been a couple of years since I last joined one of these events, but I'm very excited. Um, as you can see, we've got a mass start here, um, which is the same for all races. They're all mass starts, and this one starts off particularly hot. I mean, very, very quick. And it takes a little while, to be honest, to, for everyone to find their, their category. Now, uh, my category is kind of the equivalent to uh, like a C category, um, I believe. So, you know, I am, I am in the right category. Um, Flan Rouge Racing actually kind of has a, their own system that determines what category um, you're in so it, it, it does it for you automatically which I think is a you know very good good idea now these races are um, not like uh, the ZRL so they're not kind of every week that it's based over kind of like a seven day period so uh, we've got a couple of races uh, so we've got a race on Saturday Sunday uh, Monday and Tuesday then we've got Wednesday off and then we've got Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday so it's absolute carnage it's these are such difficult races i mean and the first two races which i've got to recap for you today um they are over an hour and 30 minutes long um so very very attritional now as you can see for me um i'm just trying to gauge my effort here i just want to make sure that i can stay with the the pack that's got kind of um you know the majority of my uh category in uh try not to slip behind but uh, yeah, I'm doing I'm doing not a bad job actually. I, I think I um you know overall, um, just managed to stay kind of in the the top half or the upper part of of um, races in my category, which was good in this race. Um, London Pretzel. I mean the London courses I've done quite a lot, so I knew that there was uh, Fox Hill and Box Hill, and there's two sprints. Um, I decided not to go for any of the sprints, um, but just to make sure that I was doing my best on the on the climbs. As you can see here, I'm between VO2 max and, and threshold on this climb. So, you know, pretty happy with that. And um, as we get to the top, I'm in a, a nice little group, you know, around uh, halfway. You know, there's 487 competitors in this race. So that is a massive, massive race. Um, and, you know, I'm kind of halfway uh, i'm kind of in the middle which is uh you know what's to be expected as a i would say a higher end uh c category so we're just on the uh, the decline here so it's a good uh, chance to get a little rest and uh coming through the last sprint segment um i just wanted to stay with the pack so you know the green jersey i don't know what it is because i'm actually not too bad a sprinter but the green jersey really wasn't of any interest to me um or was not of any interest to me I just don't like the the sprint recover sprint recover because I'm I, I I've said this before is when I've sort of used my matches that's it um, I am done for so just trying to gauge my effort anyway we're coming up the uh, box hill now uh, so this is the last proper climb of the day and uh, once again I'm just trying to threshold my way up there um, not trying to overdo it because it's you know it's been a really difficult race we're an hour and sixteen minutes in as it is so. I'm just trying to make sure that I, you know, finish the race as high up as I possibly can. Box Hill, I know, is going to take me, you know, maybe seven, eight minutes possibly um, at the pace that I'm going. So I'm just counting down the time. I'm like, please, just, you know, please get to the top. Anyway, just keeping my steady pace, I actually managed to catch this little group here. Um, in this little group here, there is someone else that's in my category. Um, my category is K, uh, C-A-Y. Um, so and also that's the thing everyone should have um, their category next to their name that's why I've got that there um, but as we get to the top here almost at the top um, I'm very happy actually because I know that I've not got long until the uh, the race finishes as we come through uh, the final KOM uh, barrier of the day um, or banner of the day so yeah only uh 3.4 miles to go which is mainly like a lot of downhill um and uh yeah maybe a little sprint at the end so there's one other person with me um i think michael michael um is his name and uh, i do something really weird here and i it's something that i i've done before i'm not sure if anyone can remember when i did it but i know i've done it before um michael just goes off into the distance basically and I'm like I was thinking well there's no way that he's gonna you know outdo 
four of us, but he did. He absolutely like left us for dead, and it's kind of like 20, 20 odd seconds, well, 14 seconds ahead uh, as we coming up to kind of the final little sprint here. So I was done in, I couldn't do anything else. I was so knackered at this point, you know, an hour and 30 minutes in, but I did want to give it a little sprint because uh, why not, eh? Why not at the end of a race trying to, you know, get a bit closer to the, uh, the person at front and just win this little mini battle. Um, but as I say, this is a, uh, it's a marathon, not a sprint, this one, uh, because of the type of, um, the type of event this is, shall we say. So as I come over the finishing line here, happy with 216th and, uh, yeah, just now's the chance to get a little bit of rest in ready for tomorrow's big race, which is Petty Bush. I'm not sure if I've said that right, but this is 38 miles long. Um, this has got some climbing in it. Um, it's also got a bit of flat in it. Once again, the mass category start here was just absolutely brutal. I mean, I thought yesterday's was tough, but this one didn't settle down for such a long time. Um, I was between VO2 max and threshold for probably, I think, the first maybe seven to ten minutes. It was, you know, it took its time basically for, for it to pan out. And uh, it was nice eventually when it, it kind of did and, you know, the, the A's and B's, got into their separate group and I was left with a little group here um, round about once again you know 200 position 190 200 um, and this this race 404 competitors so quite a lot again of people um, but this one had loads of sprint segments it had the petty KOM twice it had the aqueduct KOM twice um, both forward and reverse so a really really attritional race and I, I've done this course um, not that long ago, actually, um, and I kind of promised myself at that point I wouldn't do it again, <laughs> but here we are. Um, but yeah, no, it's a fun one to race. It, it, it's definitely a fun one to race, and I did find my, my kind of pack here, and, uh, you know, making a conscious choice not to uh, not to do too much on the sprints, but uh, yeah, a little bit of sandbagging talk here, um, getting called out for being in a group perhaps that was uh, a bit better than my my category stated, but, uh, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinions. Um, it's an auto cat kind of feature. So, um, you know, and if it, as I said before, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, uh, if I'm catted up to B fine, if I feel like I'm ready for B, I'll go up to B. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was just a bit, bit of an interesting comment there. Cause I wasn't actually at that point, the leading um, person in my category. Anyway, Enough of that. Um, we come up to the uh, Aqueduct KOM. Um, so yeah, did my best there and kind of in a little bit of a, a bigger group now as we come through another spin, sprint. Uh, one of the sprints wasn't in play. I think it was the Marina sprint wasn't in play, which was, you know, that was quite nice actually. But, oh, goodness me. Here we go. We're in the, in the bigger group now. So try and, like 30 minutes in, I'm just trying to kind of, settle down a bit because it's been very attritional um, and I know that we've probably got another hour left at least um, I try actually not to think about that as well because it can be a bit disheartening anyway here we go up the uh, petty KOM um, and I've done this uh, KOM quite a few times so you know I know it, it was in the recent ZRL um, TTT um, but we did that literally right at the very start Someone there talking about destroying my category again. Good for them. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to do my best to hang on because I know a lot of these, uh, a lot of these people in this in this group were in higher categories than me. So yeah, I didn't want to burn loads of matches, but at the same time, I did want to try and stay near the front. Um, but yeah, putting in quite a decent effort here. I think I prefer it this way up as well. The other way, I don't know if it's shorter but steeper. This one kind of feels a bit longer and not as steep. But uh, yeah, I let the wheel go at the top here again. Silly, silly thing to do, especially after I did it the day before. Um, but luckily for me, um, it was all brought back together. So I will take that as learning again. Um, and we're all now back in one pack. But this pack was, um, the ability in this pack was, was quite good. Uh, come over to the Aqueduct KOM. I'm struggling a lot here. Almost an hour in now. Once again, I let the wheel go, but... I'm pretty confident that they will bring it back or it'll get brought back together because um, I know there's another sprint coming up soon, as you can see. So, yeah, there we go. All back together. Um, saved energy for about 10 seconds and then back on it again for another sprint. So 
an absolutely brutal course this one it's so brutal um so yeah managed to hang on again to this group um coming to um another sprint uh i think you can probably tell it's not going to be probably my best result here with the sprints because i <laughs> i'm just hanging on the best i can i almost at this point made a bit of a conscious decision to really let it go because i knew that we had the uh, the petty kom uh, coming up very very shortly and i needed some rest for that because i could just feel myself i, I don't know kind of almost stopping completely i didn't want to cramp up and yeah as we come to the uh, the petty kom again i'm just going to try and threshold my way up there um an hour and 23 minutes in i know this climb is going to be about six or seven minutes again but yeah it's really not what i want at this point but uh this is what you know flam rouge racing is all about these attritional races um it definitely puts you to the test and i think for me just finishing uh, this whole racing series will be a great achievement because, uh, you know, it's, what is it, um, kind of six out of seven days cycling, uh, which I've not done in ages. And it's not just, you know, cycling on the train. It's really, really kind of hard, long races. So, um, yeah, I'm just doing my best up here, really. That's all I can say. I'm just doing my best. You know, some some have just gone off the front there and you know, even if I'm coming in kind of last in this group, that's OK. We've got someone in my category that's uh, that's kind of near as well, which is which is good to know that I'm not, you know, completely alone. And uh, yeah, as we come to the top here, I'm thankful that we are. But um, I do my usual. I let the wheel go after doing the hard work. And um, and that's it, really. Um, I don't see that person again. Well, especially as we're going downhill and there's, a, there's kind of like two or three of them up front. So I've got a decision to make here. I've got 25 second gap to the, uh, the person behind and uh, 2.3 miles to go. I really kind of feel, well, I felt like at that point I had to put my, like the most effort that I possibly could in trying to bring back, uh, you know, the, the group of people in front of me. So I step on the power again. Um, I, yeah, I take a little rest, but I'm, I'm mainly on the power and I'm just thinking, right, you know, sweet spot, threshold my way. And uh, as you can see, I'm slowly pulling them back in. Um, and amazingly, I I catch this person here. And as we come up to the finishing line, I think I'm only going to finish about three or so seconds behind the, uh, the other person in my category. So what a race, what a race, uh, what a two days so far. Absolutely loved it. General classification then, I am in seventh position after two stages unbelievable i mean that's out of about 180 competitors so i'm happy with that um i'm also in the uh, kom jersey as well um in terms of like i'm up there i'm in seventh in that i'm out of the green jersey but we don't want that so yeah all to play for really enjoyable series um i hope you stick with it with me and uh i'll see you on the next one <laughs>